Let's bring in our political strategist, James Carville, worked for Bill Clinton, Matthew Dowd, pollster for George W. Bush, also some Democrats as well. And James, let's begin with the oil spill. Last week, uh, even though you're an ally of President Obama, you blasted the White House, said it was a lackadaisical response, said they were naive to be trusting BP, and you went on to say this is a disaster of the first magnitude. They've got to go to Plan B. Are we seeing Plan B now? Man, I, I hope so, Josh, because the, the political stupidity at this is just unbelievable. Here you have a situation where you have some, some work, 11 working, hardworking people blown up as, as a result of corporate malfeasance and maybe criminal negligence, as a result of inept bureaucrats who were part of the, you could even actually blame the previous administration for this, and, and the president doesn't get down here in the middle of this. This thing should be, his, his approval rating should be up seven points right now if he'd have come down. And I have no idea of why they didn't seize this thing. I have no idea of why they, they, their, their attitude was so hands off here. It, it's just unbelievable. Well, now, I, I, hope he, I hope he sees it now because th this is the, very seldom you get something that's really good politics and, and really the right thing to do. Well, the and that is to get involved here. The president is going down on Friday. He's announcing these tighter new regulations on Thursday. Matthew Dowd, uh, you lived through Katrina. Uh, with, with President Bush. What we are seeing now with President Obama for the first time on this issue, a majority disapprove of how he's handling it. But do you see this posing a Katrina-like threat, political threat to President Obama? Well, I think this, this incident that happened, this obviously environmental disaster happened, is another example to the American public that they can't trust big corporations and they can't trust big government to protect them. And I think ultimately it's going to be a real political problem. It hasn't affected his numbers yet, but James is right. In a disaster like this, his numbers should actually be going up, not just staying stagnant. And I think ultimately they're going to drop because I think the country right now is, is so frustrated on a lot of things, this is just another example where they say, what is government doing and what can they do well? Oh. We have these disasters and, it's, and we seem now to be on plan G. But let me ask both of, you, both of you, what more can the president do here? Uh, he George, didn't go ahead. George, George, the president of the United States could have come down here. He could have been involved with the, with the families of these 11 people. He could have commandeered the, 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 the things that we could have sent the Woods Hole people. We could have sent the Scripps people. They, they don't have research vessels in the Gulf of Mexico. He could have demanded a plan in, in anticipation of this. You know, right, he can't exactly fill the hole up. The, the, the last night I was in Larry King with the CEO of the former CEO of Shell. They said they got 85% of the stuff cleaned up in the Gulf of Saudi Arabia. He could be commandeering tankers and making BP bring tankers in and clean this up. They could be deploying people to the coast right now. He could be with the Corps of Engineers and the Coast Guard with these people in Plaquemines Parish doing something about these regulations. These people are crying. They're begging for something down here. And it just looks like he's not involved in this. Man, you got to get down here and take control of this. Put somebody in charge of this thing and get this thing moving. We're about to die down here. Okay, well, you've, you've answered that question. Let me turn to Matthew Dowd on immigration. Another big political wave heading uh, towards the president announcing these new troops uh, towards the border. Will, it, will this be enough to, 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 to stem this political wave that's coming right at him? No, not at all. And I mean, ultimately, this was a political move. He would not have done this but for what happened with Arizona and what's going on in the rest of the country. It's not just an Arizona problem. The rest of the country thinks the government is broken and can't, doesn't have an immigration policy. So, yeah, I think this is a symbolic act. It's not going to do 1,200 troops on the border that stretches from California to Texas. It's not going to do anything to stop drugs from coming over or stop the gang killings and all the things that's going on. It's not going to do anything. It is symbolic. Presidencies, as James just said, symbolism is very important. If you show up at a disaster, it's important. I think the symbolism here, it's not going to have any substantive effect, but it is a political problem when mo the majority of the country supports what Arizona did. And, and clearly, James, the uh, Arizona me member of Congress, Gabe, Gabriel Gifford, who announced this, is happy with what the president is announcing. But the president's also got to manage a lot of others in his Democratic base who are concerned that the push for comprehensive immigration reform may stall. Yeah, he does. And, you know, look, it's a heck of a problem. I'm not exactly sure because if you hear conflict and things, some people actually claim that the crime rate in, in Arizona is down or the number of, of, of illegals coming into Arizona is down over a period of time. I have no idea what the facts are, but uh, obviously they have some problem when they border. They really feel that way. This, this is an area of great frustration and he's doing something and, 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 you know, hopefully this works. But, man, he's got, to, you know, the other thing this president needs to do, George, they need to launch a criminal investigation. The attorney general needs to investigate criminal criminal negligence on the part of BP and what went on at MMS. There's a thousand things that he could do. He just needs to get down here and start doing something. People are dying. Okay, well, the president is going to be there on Friday. 
Thank you both for your passion and your insight this morning.